Hi everybody, um, it's been a long time since I've filmed a video about H. pylori um, as it's been, how many years? Four years I think since I had it, maybe three, I think it was three years. Um, but either way I wanted to make a quick video about what my dietary requirements are like now, what my digestion is like and overall how I am since. Um, so I'm basically perfectly normal now, I don't have any issues um, with energy everything that i have had related to energy has related back to newfound health issues i wouldn't really call them health issues it's just being diagnosed with something that i probably should have known about um <laughs> so i did get diagnosed with pcos so that's makes sense for a lot of the tiredness i probably was super super tired whilst i had h pylori because them two things would not be well together um my immune system is better but it's still not amazing when I get sick. I get sick for a really long time. Um, but that probably doesn't relate back to H. pylori. Um, I used to get sick a lot last year. I had really bad stomach pains for a long time. I actually thought I had H. pylori again, but I don't. Um, I found out I can't eat gluten and I can't eat dairy. I've always been lactose intolerant. Um, but I could have bits of dairy here and there. Can't have it can have gluten here and there but it, i actually feel sick um so i don't eat gluten anymore i've cut out all dairy um i eat very simple now um i have put up some photos of the foods that i eat now i stay away from anything um that's super high in fats like super processed like super like deep fried absolutely not like i just eat very simple rice um beef and broccoli rice chicken chickpeas broccoli beans they're great low fodmap foods that whole entire um if you look up low fodmap that entire diet is perfect for me um and it's probably perfect for you if you're still going through h pylori or if you're still in that healing phase um i'm just gonna fix how i'm sitting because this is really uncomfortable <laughs> but i still get a lot of messages from you guys this is still uncomfortable i still get a lot of messages from you guys um asking about how i am now so i thought i would make this video but i'm heaps better i just fully cut out dairy and um gluten because i was so sick all the time i was bloated all the time um just very uncomfortable and then I cut it out and I'm a hundred percent better there are some days where I can have gluten and I'll feel okay but if I have it a lot in a week I will not be okay I will not feel okay um my fitness has totally gone back to normal I don't have dizzy spells like never get dizzy anymore but I try and eat every few hours to stop the dizziness um because I do have uh low blood pressure so that's also why I really was dizzy when I had the H. pylori as well so yeah I'm totally normal now back into training um but I did have to make changes to my diet probably going to last for the rest of my life who knows might get better um another thing I do is that I have a lot of um probiotics every so often so every few weeks I'll have um really good probiotics or I'll have fermented foods they're so good for you especially kimchi because that's my favorite so I'll have that quite a lot um and I really like it I really eat stuff that's good for you and I try to really cut down on eating out and if I'm eating out it's simple like I can I mainly focus on eating Asian food if I go out because a lot of the time you can get food that's just like really simple like rice chicken veg that's it I try and focus on that if I'm eating out so yeah but this is basically the video that I wanted to make it's really short if you want to see what my food is like now let me know and I'll make a video describing everything that I eat now um but this is where I'm at and this is a bit of an update so just message me if you still have questions because I will still respond but thank you guys and I hope you're all going well